encourage you to join with me in turning in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 17 as we do continue on in the Word of God. Now today we're going to be taking a look at verses 1 through 14, but I'm going to be focusing on verses 1 through 8. Uh, I want to split it into two parts. I want to talk first about the importance of the name change that was given to uh, Abraham, or Abram, as he becomes mm -hmm. Abraham. And then uh, next week we'll talk specifically about the sign that was given to him, the sign of the covenant, which is the sign of circumcision. I want to address those two uh, separately so that we won't um, be having to do uh, injustice to one or the other. Names are obviously important, were important um, in the ancient world. We often, uh, you know, when we were kids, at least when I was kids, I lived in a very politically incorrect age long ago in, in another century, quite literally. Um, and we would comment on, you know, Indian names, the, uh, you know, stands with a fist, sitting bull, so on. But we don't stop to consider that names used to all have meanings. They actually used to mean something, both uh, in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The names that we encounter actually were not just merely sounds. Uh, it's only today that we put names together as interesting sounds which have no actual meaning, but it used to be in the past that our names had meaning. So, for instance, and in many uh, foreign cultures, uh, that is still very much the case. So, for instance, in the Bible, as you all know, uh, the name Nathaniel, what does the name Nathaniel mean? It means the gift of God. That's right, gift of God. So Nathaniel means gift of God. Or in the New Testament, Andrew. What does Andrew mean? Manly. Yeah. It comes from Andros, the root. So when I say, hi, I'm Andrew, I'm saying, hey, I'm manly. And uh, shaking their head, real, uh, shaking their head. Uh, not that manly. <laughs> I'm manly. No, uh, shaking their head. So in any event, um, names also.